Hello and welcome to another video. So one of the common questions on the, uh, the Discord channel for the Odin project is uh, when am I ready to start applying for my first job? And there's no perfect answer here. I, I think it's going to vary for person and the, in, you, the t specific tech stack and the local area where you're applying and all those kinds of factors. Many factors to consider. But I think there's one fundamental truth that's going to apply in every case and that is you need to know how to be a web developer before you should apply to be a web developer. Now, of course, you could the opportunity to learn on the job, right? Uh, sometimes fake it till you make it, but there's nowhere to hide in software, so you can't fake it too much. You know, if you're really struggling and you can't do the work that you've been employed to do, then someone's going to find out very quickly. Uh, but chances are, you probably won't get hired in the first place because there's a ton of competition out there. Uh, that you have to compete with and think of it from the company's perspective they have a product uh, they're a business and they operate where time is money and they need to have a reliable workforce that can get things done in a timely manner to a decent level of quality now why would they want to hire someone who doesn't quite know what they're doing yet when there are tons of people who do that they could hire right you got to think about your competition uh, and how you're going to stand out against the competition when you're looking for your first job. So that's so much to say that you're not ready to apply for jobs after foundations. And don't get me wrong, foundations is a great achievement, I think. Uh, you're, you're going through HTML, CSS and writing some JavaScript. It's tough to get your head around that. It really is. I remember the first time I looked at JavaScript, I'm like, my gosh, how am I going to even figure this out? I have no idea what's going on here. Um, so it, it is a great spot to be it's an accomplishment. However, it doesn't mean you're ready to be a web developer. There's a consensus that people are ready kind of the end of the uh, Rails module of the Ruby path or uh, halfway through Node, I think it is in the JavaScript path. I don't know. It's going to vary for, for everybody. Um, I think what matters though is you really got to understand the fundamentals of how the web works and of web development, have some experience working with people, uh, maybe working in some sort of professional style workflows, whether you're doing open source or some uh, freelancing or something like that. I think these sorts of things are really going to increase your chances of getting the job. But I see a lot of people who I, I think they are underestimating how challenging it is to make that transition from another career into software development, especially self-taught. Um, but even CSC grads, right? Even boot camp grads have a tough time. There is so much competition out there, right? With so many people vying for the same jobs, you've really got to do something at that junior level to stand out. Um, you know, once you get more experience, I think things start opening up for you. But you're not going to be ready until you've put in the time and put in the effort to learn the fundamentals of web development, software development, and you understand a language uh, or two, you can code in a language or two, and you've used some frameworks. You know, you've got to be able to do the things that people are going to hire you to do. Uh, okay, that's something that people don't quite understand. Sometimes people equate time with, uh, let's say, the um, entitlement of being hired. You know, I've spent a year, 12 months, or I spent 18 months in the Odin project, it's really hard, you know, I just want to get a job. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how long you've spent doing it, what matters is can you do the things that you're being hired to do. And I, I think that um, we've been given a bit of an entitlement in the West with school. You know, we are taught, do your exams, get your certificates, and then you get a job. That's kind of the framework that we've been uh, brought up under, right? In software, especially as a self-taught, uh, there's no such thing as put in your time and, and pass your exams. All there is is can you build this or not? And if you can't, well, I'm not going to hire you, right? So as hard as this, this may be a tough pill, right? But I want to be realistic to people because I see so many times people underestimating the amount of effort and grind it takes to make that transition. I want to end on you know a more positive note as well that it is possible. Now there are some people who are kind of the virtuosos who can do this 
you see sometimes like, oh, I got a software development role in three months. Yeah, nice one. I, I don't know that I believe most of those stories. Uh, for a lot of people, it takes longer than that, right? But it is possible. You put in your time and you're mindful of burnout and you dig deep and you, you get over those hard days where things just, you can't figure them out, but you will, right? You you will if you stick to it. And eventually you'll get to that point where you know, oh, I'm actually in possession of those skills required to get my first job. You will get them, but you've got to have a set schedule. You've got to grind. You've got to put your time in, right? And putting your time in is only half of it. You've got to retain the information. You've got to be able to build stuff. Uh, and the Odin Project is very good at kind of preparing you for doing that. Um, my own story, I guess I, I, I get finish on that as an anecdote, but um, not not you know in, in the Odin Project Discord timelines and time taking is, is something that um, people try and uh, stay away from in, in giving advice. But uh, I'm not on there. I'm on YouTube, so I I you know I'm happy to talk about the time that it took me, but. Um, I started in January of 2022 and I was uh, I had a window I had a window of time so I was in a bit of a rush and I um, I was on paternity leave so I had 12 months to learn software development and get a job and I wasn't working at the time I actually uh, I went on leave like I said from work paternity leave and I studied every single day sustainably about five five six hours every single day some days more some days less uh, I in eight months I think I only took three days off um, and there were times where I felt like I never felt like giving up I always believed that I would achieve it um, and I think that's one thing I just never felt never believed that I was going to give up or, or not achieve this I knew I would and it's not to say I knew I would because it it was going to happen I just had that self-belief that it would I wasn't going to fail um, and I think that's what helped me be successful but for you uh, on your journey, I think you got to ask yourself, do you have that drive? Do you have that, that grit and that resilience to make it happen? Uh, because I think doing this part time, doing this an hour a day, the odds of you giving up before you have that skill set are pretty damn high. I think this is something you've got to go, personally speaking, maybe I'm wrong, but I think you've got to go all in on. Um, and you've got to learn as much as you can in a sustainable manner in, in a short amount of time if you can, right? And it's going to be different for everybody in uh, kind of teetering just below that burnout level. That's my perspective anyway, but I, I think it's a grind. And right now, um, it is it is probably even harder to get a job than it was uh, a year ago or 12 months ago. Uh, so you got to do, you got to put your time in you got to learn those skills and there are many ways I think that you can stand out as well beyond just knowing the skill set but I want to leave those two other videos uh, I want to keep this one relatively short uh, so if you have any questions below uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll answer them in the comments or I may, might make a uh, another video thanks